Please. Goldman wins the quarter. That's the takeaway from the likes right. of Gerard Cassidy, who won the morning. Yeah, you know, <laughs> Citigroup came out with an astounding news for Jane Frazier's first report as CEO, exiting 13 consumer markets, right, and also beating on almost every front in her first report. Uh, what do the numbers look like at the end of the day? They beat on almost every line of business at Citigroup, but they've also, you know, $4.5 billion in fixed income trading revenue, John. That's just behind J.P. Morgan at $5.8 billion more than Goldman Sachs. Why is Gerard saying that Goldman has won? In fixed income trading and equities revenue, they have risen more than all of their peers that have reported so far. So that puts the pressure tomorrow on Morgan Stanley to do the same. I did something else for you. I also created a league table when it comes to consumer banking because we don't see the same pressures there at the investment banks that we do at J.P. Morgan, Bank of America, Citigroup. But, you know, when it comes down to it at the end of the day, it's actually Wells Fargo that was able to hold their consumer banking operations flat at $8.6 billion in revenue. Citigroup did have the biggest decline in that business despite beating on their top and bottom line expectations. Got to say, that was unexpected. Shanali, just a final word from you on Jane Fraser over at Citigroup. It's a change away from Corbett. How big a change are you expecting for the years ahead from the people you discussed this conversation with right now? It's interesting. This consumer business has been plagued for years, right? So it's hard to say that this kind of change wasn't expected to some degree. What's surprising is right out of the gate, she's telling you that she's going to impact a business that generates about $4 billion in revenue. It's significant. Analysts are already saying it should free up capital for the business, and it should start to help Citigroup focus its expenses on places where it can make more money and win business. Market likes it up 2.5%. Shanali, we'll touch base with a little bit later this morning ahead of the open that stock is higher let's bring in Baird analyst David George joins us now has an outperform rating on Bank of America and a price target of $38 great to catch up with you David as always you already take you've got the numbers from a whole host of banks in the last 24 hours Gerard Cassidy likes what he saw from Goldman do you like what you see this morning David yeah, banks have given us, Jonathan, pretty much everything that, that you could hope for. Good capital markets, uh, loan loss reserves are, are continuing to come down, as you mentioned, and deposit growth continues to be very good. Really, this the missing link uh, here is just uh, is loan growth. And when does that start to get better? But all in all, a very good showing so far from uh, all the banks that have reported. Well, David, let's try and make it simple. What's distorting the picture here for these particular banks that haven't been able to leverage this booming economy yet, at least in the first quarter, and whether that dynamic persists through the next quarter and into the back half of this year? Well, it's definitely going to take some time for all of this liquidity. Just as an example, Bank of America took in over $300 billion in deposits just over the last year. So for those that are expecting a, a ton of loan growth over the near term, I just think that that's unrealistic. And all of that liquidity, uh, we think at least, needs to be deployed. Deployed uh, prior to expecting a big surge in loan demand. So that, that obviously from here, we think loan growth and higher rates are really going to be the key uh, for the banks to sustain the rally that we've experienced so far uh, in 2021. The consumer side of the business has got a lot of attention over the last 24 hours because of this loan issue. Can we talk about the investment bank at several sure. of these banks at the moment, David? We often talk about trading and trading revenue as if it's just about the weather, the climate. But a lot of this was down to execution, too. The likes of Goldman Sachs being one of the banks that stands out. What stood out for you, David? Well, it's really been um, just unbelievable just thinking about where we are today relative to where we were a year ago in the capital markets. We've gone from um, panic to euphoria. The, the SPAC market and the equity issuance has really been off the charts so far this year. And, and, and as you mentioned, there's been numerous beneficiaries from Goldman, B of A, JP Morgan, really across the board. Uh, and really the question now is what's the sustainability of the current run rate in capital markets? And, and obviously it's early in April, but we, we expect things to normalize a bit, uh, Jonathan, as we move through the balance of the year in that, uh, in that market sensitive segment. So to conclude, it introduces the question, David, that I finished with Gerard Cassidy, your peer in the last 24 hours too. With all of that in mind, the consumer business, the investment bank, for the back half of this year, what kind of business model in the banking world do I want to own as an investor? All else equal, from, from our perspective, is, is banks that are really levered to an improving economy. And that, and that really is all of the major banks. And, and, but, but I think the, the, the real leverage is going to come from higher rates, um, more loan demand, and, and hopefully a Fed that, that starts to get a little tighter. That's really the key to, for, for banks to experience notable earnings improvement from here is 
a less dovish Fed, higher rates and more loan demand. Outperform rating, $38 price target on B of A, David. Is 38 an outperform rating still for you? Was certainly at the start of well, the year, given, given where we were. Yeah, we upgraded B of A um, at $20 a little over a year ago. So it's obviously had a very big move and it's hard to keep up with uh, the various targets and, and so forth. But that's certainly something that we'll be looking at. I can't really tell you what we're going to do with our target and rating, <laughs> but that, that, that's obviously something that we, uh, we address uh, every day. I never expect anyone to do that live on air, David, but one day I'm sure someone will. David George, it's good to catch up, sir. As always, thanks for your time. Thank you.